coming to the part where I'll have to explain. Uh, I'm going to explain to you about uh, a researcher's ID. Or as it is known now, Pablons, Pablons profile, Pablons account, Pablons.com. I'm just typing that in Google. It should give me the Pablons. It is uh, automatically indexed with the uh, Web of Science. It's a part of Web of Science. Uh, so there are, uh, as you can see here, about uh, 20 lakhs of researcher having an account with this particular uh, database. So uh, since I'm new to Publons, I'm going to register myself. If I'm already an existing, I can log in, but I'm new to uh, Publons, I'm gonna click on register. Again, I'll use that same email ID, which I have uh, previously used. dot com password here i'll use the same password which i use for orchid remember this is the password okay re-enter again my first name is chan enter the security captcha code c3 y2 we and register okay so it says here a registration confirmation has been sent to the email id now if i go here it says i receive one mail from publons please activate your account click here to activate click here to activate it will take you to this page you can now sign in to publons i can even sign in to a note and web of sign with the same email ID and password. Remember, these are all interoperability uh, is the option that they are, they are offering. So basically, I can uh, use my same ID, log into any of this. Anyway, uh, let us take that password. I'm using the same password, copy it, paste it here. Let me try to sign in. So I am now signing in. So it will give me a private dashboard to manage my records and my metric system. So they are officially partnered with Wiley, a reputed publisher, Sage Publisher, MDPI, the Royal Society, and uh, Cambridge University Press, Springer Nature, one of the top leading publisher. Uh, so I will just click on continue and get started click on get started okay so in my dashboard as you can see i already have what we call the i can track my citation and uh, please remember that uh, it uh, track my citation which means it gets the web of sign core collection citation remember web of sign has multiple database there's a korean sci there is a web of sign core collection there are three four if i'm not mistaken web of science uh, citation database so it gives you an automated count from the core public uh, core collection if you have publication there because it will extract all the detail from there um, this is your dashboard manage your review see your profile see what your profile look like to other people on publons so that is a public viewing of your profile publication metric it gives you the publication in web of science uh, some of some of times cited you know uh, from the web of science core collection or remember only from the core collection of web of science database they are extracting your citation and h index uh, quality and quantity of your citations here average citation per item and average citation per year so basically if i have my publication metric it will display here Sorry for that. Uh, uh, now, uh, what you can do is uh, you can uh, go here. You can click your view profile. You can generate your CV also. Now, once you have entered, uh, you know, uh, your publication details, your, uh, you know, uh, informations, 
uh, already extracted from web of science so you can actually generate your cv automatically from here let me just click here in this button generate cv uh, so before we can export there is some criteria you need to have at least one publication or else if we don't have you cannot export your cv this is kind of your researchers id uh, cv problems id cv uh, of course uh, let me go back to my dashboard on the left side here and uh, public profile how people will see my profile this is the option here so i have i don't have any research yet and that's why it doesn't show anything let me go back to my uh, private dashboard here and uh, let me click on publication here now this is where see it is automatically checked from the web assigned core collection remember the database core collection so it's found zero web assigned publication which means i don't have any article published from a journal which is indexed by web of science core collection database understand i repeat that again which means it automatically extract my metric system but since i don't have any it found zero web of science publication as written here again i would repeat i don't have any publication from a journal which is indexed by web of science core collection that's why it did not reflect here now what i can do is i can import manually also here okay click the button above to import your publication from web of science or orchid id and more okay so let me just import here click on this button it will it will ask me to the multiple option here this is a complementary access for for Publon user okay that matches your email address since they use the email address which i have signed in to track my publication see they're using this particular method to track my publication from web of science but that email id is a demo only like i'm telling you it is not associated with any publication so it will not uh, find any publication on from that email id you can sync it with your orchid id so this is one option where you can actually sync your publication from your uh, orchid id or you can import your publication using doi uh, for example i have one paper uh, let me just uh, try to find one paper mm. uh okay i'll just go to my desktop here uh, i find here some research related uh progress report second progress report i think i save it here somewhere so so this is one paper i have my doi here i'll just copy paste this doi digital object identifier let me just try to practically show you by importing a paper using my doi so i'll paste that doi here i'll see whether they have given me any okay so what it does it says here you see on the on the bottom uh, right side it say imported which means it has successfully successfully have imported this is the article title reaching out user in the digital area era opportunity and challenges this is a conference so this is the doi and doi url so I can save this publication and then it will remain in my Poblons account. That is one way. However, I don't need that. So I'll just have to remove it uh, because this is just a demo uh, demonstration. Another way of importing is like I told you earlier, import by file RIS, CSV or BibTeX. So three file option they are accepting here. Let me go back to one article which I show you earlier. Uh, this is not my article remember i have downloaded the citation uh, i click here download the citation let me try to download the citation by clicking here this is not my article it may take a while for the because my internet speed is slow okay so ris uh, i will take this format ris format and i will download the citation okay so i'll click is it will come in my download file 
so let me now go to my Poblons ID again let me select a file here I'm importing using RIS let me go to my download folder in here this is R if you can see here Taylor and Francis dot UCMG dot RIS RIS is the extension file so I can automatically update in here upload this could take a few second invalid rs rs please upload a, a valid file so let me just take a bib file whether it accepts or not this is just for demonstration purpose great your publication have finished importing to your poblon profile click here to see them let me just click there and see how it looks like so it gives me a citation metric here also you see ultimetric citation and cita citation here and this is my ultimetric it's another uh, kind of a, a metric system which they used to study uh, the various type we call them a webometric system and then ultimetric system and then bibliometric system so there are various type of metric system which we are following anyway this is not mine so i'll just delete this one okay it's not my publication uh, plant-based ecosystem management this paper is not mine so i'll just click yeah you have not added any of your publication that is just for the purpose of showing you how to import using those options here all right so uh you can see in the setting here you can add your affiliation edit your institution uh here this thing you all know your email your profile your account i'm just opening all of them in new new tabs okay you can if you are a member of editorial board somewhere you can add here a journal or a conference if you are affiliated with any institution you can click here you can add affiliation and save changes okay you can your profile detail tell us a bit about yourself you can add these are all your demographic your research area okay save changes and then you can allow order to view your edge index your metric pages so those are basically some of the or you can connect it with other account your facebook your linkedin your orchid your google in wechat okay you can connect with some of this social link here okay anyway i have a duplicate account so i'll just delete this account i no longer need of this but anyway this is basically how uh you create an account add your demography import your citation i have shown you how to import two ways one using a bib text format file from a publication which i have taken from taylor and francis a publisher and one uh, way of importing is using doi digital object identifier of a, an article of my article so there are two ways i, I you can also add uh, the um, many uh, import methods are also there so you can add manually also so those are the option and best thing about this is they give you a cv also so this is how you use poblon or oh, yes one, uh, one thing you will know if you go here go to your private dashboard and in your private dashboard this is my private dashboard so sorry again for that uh, this is my private dashboard in the corner here you can see web of sign my research id is this aaj uh, hyphen this four digit and then four digit so this is your uh, research id researchers id if some journal do ask for this id so this is how you uh, create one and give them your id so read uh, an id in a researchers id which is now under poblons.com which is uh, a part of web of science and how to import them and then how to use it so i hope this helped thank you very much